good afternoon everybody and welcome to the rectory garden on this beautiful Saturday afternoon for myself and Dexter enjoying taking the sun. Uh, tomorrow is Palm Sunday and throughout Holy Week this year I'm going to be offering some meditations and prayers about ants. In this time of isolation the sense of physical touch is something that many of us are missing. Not Dexter, of course, because I'm still able to stroke him. I stroke him to show that I love him and also that, uh, that he means so much to us. And he quite enjoys it too, I hope anyway. But within our daily uh, presence with one another, we often shake hands with people to welcome them. We may kiss a friend. We put our hand around a shoulder to someone needing support. Touch is so important, both from the person giving the touching and also being touched themselves. Hands are so important in the Bible. The Gospels use the word hands, fingers and touch nearly 200 times. And the words often refer to Jesus. From the Gospels we have Jesus put out his hand and touched him so he touched her hand then he touched their eyes immediately Jesus stretched out his hand Jesus came and touched them then little children were brought to him that he might put his hands on them and pray our hands should convey love the tragedy of Holy Week, of course, is that the hands that conveyed love and applauded and waved palm branches turned in time to hands of condemnation. Open hands of hope turned to fingers pointing out an innocent person and blaming him. Tomorrow, on Palm Sunday, I'm going to do a service at 10.30am on Facebook Live. It will be a service of readings, hymns and prayers. You may like to have with you a palm cross that you might have kept from the previous year. Or you may like to make a special palm, which I shall show you how to make. A palm that will be a palm of palm. So, let us make our palm of palms. First of all, we'll make the base in order to glue the palms to. Simply get any old piece of cardboard. As you can see, this is a really old piece of cardboard, so I've just pulled off a box. And just make a simple handle on the end. I'm just cutting round a shape which I can hold. Easily as my base. So it looks a bit like a table tennis bat. Then I need to draw around my hand You have to do this several times in order to have several handprints. You can have left hands, you can have right hands. It doesn't matter which. I'm just going to sort of put a loop on the round there. If you're wondering why I'm looking off to the side, I'm checking that Dexter's not walking off. No, uh, but he seems to be taking it all in his stride at the moment. I then simply cut around the handprint. Now, you will all be able to do this much better than myself because I'm not particularly artistic, but as you can see, with a minimal of fuss, we can make something quite attractive and quite different. Just cutting around this. And you can have different people's palms as well. My daughter Becky 
has cut around her hand several times in order to make palm prints of her hands as well. And so that's nice because it means that Becky's hand prints will be on the palm of palms that we'll make. And, um, and also it means that there'll be different sizes of leaves as well on it. So you might want to make one palm of pan palms in the family and just have that with all the different family members is handprints on it. So we get our palm. We simply get a good bit of glue. Pop it on the palm. Pop it on the base. I think I'll have a, I think I'll have a dark green one next. Here we go. I wanted the big prints first. Just put some glue on this. That. And we can slowly start building up. Of course, we told in the Gospel that people cut down the palms and strew them in front of Jesus as he entered into Jerusalem on a donkey. And we, traditionally, we make our palm crosses from palms and we have them and we get them blessed in church on Palm Sunday. And then I always tell you to take them home with you and to put them somewhere prominent in the house so that every time you look at them you remember Jesus in your life and Jesus coming into your life as he came into the lives of people on Palm Sunday. And I'm just going to put a few small ones on as well. You can build this up as many times as you like. You don't have to stop with just a few palms. Like I say, you can have as many as you like on there. I'm just doing that. This will be the last one that I put on there. And there we go. There is. There goes the glue. And here is our palm of palms. Tomorrow, when we have our palms, be it our palm crosses or our palms of We'll remember the words from Matthew's Gospel which say Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road and the crowds that went before him that followed him were shouting Hosanna to the son of David. Tomorrow when we meet at 10.30 have your palm be the palm cross or a palm of palms and when we say that Hosanna to the Son of David. Let us hold our palms up. We'll be doing that at 10.30 a.m. on our Facebook page tomorrow. Before then, let us conclude with a prayer. Heavenly Father, let my hands perform your bidding. Let my feet run in your ways. Let my eyes see only Jesus. Let my lips speak forth his praise.